All right, the Foo Fighters respond to breakup rumors with a parody video featuring former 98 Degrees singer Nick Lachey. And Dave Grohl ponders a solo career. Take a look. Now I'm free to be me. What if we just promoted from within? I have an obvious choice. I think it's me. You know, I've been trying to sing for years. I've, you know, I've been doing singing. You guys all sing in bands right now. I'm right? not singing any band right now. I, I got the guy. It's official. After months of rumors and speculation, the Foo Fighters are not breaking up, nor is Dave Grohl going solo. The elaborate video announcement comes after comments from the band's drummer earlier this year, where Taylor Hawkins said they were on a I hate us, a pun on the word hiatus. We don't, we don't want to hang out with each other, but we need a break. We're together tonight. All right. But it looks like we've been had, and the band trolled fans worldwide with a seven minute long video. The bitter Twitter battle between Kanye West and Deadmau5 continues with the Canadian DJ calling Yeezy a clown. It all started with Kanye posting a picture of himself, apparently illegally downloading a music editing software. Deadmau5 called him out, angering West, who then said, Do you do birthday parties? My daughter loves Minnie Mouse. I need you to perform at her party with specifically a Minnie Mouse Deadmau5 head, not a Mickey Mouse Deadmau5 head. Kanye's rep has clarified his apparent illegal downloading, saying it was all a joke. Natalie Portman opens up in this week's issue of Hello Canada. Editor-in-chief Alison Eastwood tells us what's in store for the Academy Award-winning actress. Well, it's been a while since we've seen Natalie Portman. She has been a wife and mom. She's been living in Paris, speaking in French. She is part of a star-studded cast in Terrence Malick's latest film, Night of the Cups. So she chats to us about what it was like working with Terrence, um, about the fact that she's making her directorial debut. You can find Hello Canada on shelves today or on your Texture by Next Issue app for smartphones and tablets. Also on Texture today, Sophie Grégoire Trudeau as April's Chatelaine cover girl. We got a sneak peek at the behind the scenes photo shoot with the wife to Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, where she talked about her new role and how she deals with negative comments. Hello, everyone. I'm Sophie Grégoire Trudeau, and today I'm here for my Chatelaine cover shoot. I don't think of how I will define my position. What I know is that I'm here to serve and I want to make a difference. The biggest change for me personally since Justin has become Prime Minister, I think it's my surroundings and learning to delegate. There's so much work to be done and I want to be part of it and I want to help out as much as I can. The critiques, the negative things that can be said, I thought they would affect me more. They don't. But when you know that you and your team are doing work with integrity, and that you're doing it for the greater good and not to serve yourself, then at the end of the day, you have to let go. The issue of Chatelaine hits newsstands March 14th and texture by next issue today. Remember to get your entertainment news first in the morning right here and anytime on Twitter at Ant City.